There was a quiet in the room that matched the urgency of the current circumstances. It was cold and still. There were machines beating and tubes running in and out of holes in his body. None of us could have imagined the scene before us right now. One of our friends was knocking on death's door. Fear and pain had taken away our speech, but the tears flowed freely. We looked at each other with the unspoken hope and the blatant fear that were undoubtedly racing in our hearts and minds. What could we have done to prevent this was what I wondered. We all were standing close to the door, threatening to run out of the room. I wanted someone to pinch, punch, or slap me to awaken me from this nightmare. No one moved. I couldn't. I just stared at the sight before me. Selfishly, I was glad that it wasn't me. I was not ready to die, but I knew that my friend in that bed felt the same way. I was praying to God for a miracle. I was not a praying man, but I was hoping that God heard me loud and clear. It was his call, though. I was not naive in that area. I knew who was in charge of it all. It seemed like an eternity, but we had been there for only a few minutes. My body involuntarily started to tremble. Someone grabbed my hand to calm me down. The warmth of that palm on mine eased my mind. I was going to be the brave one. I willed myself to move. With one step in front of the other, I walked toward that bed. My heart was thumping, my mind racing, but I did it. I reached out and placed my hand on his hand as it lay beside his body. It was warm. It gave me hope. I needed it. I felt like God was answering my prayers. Soon the others followed. They did the same thing, reached for his hand. We all held on to him hoping that this wasn't the last time that we felt his warmth. 